from small issues to major issues. And this is an, uh, an opportunity for an hour and a half to get questions answered by the folks who we depend on to provide security. And so on our panel today are uh, representatives from the Chicago Police Department and from the Park District's Department of Security, uh, along with some CAPS uh, representatives as well. So it is my very great pleasure to introduce and to thank our panelists today. We have the Chicago Police Department, Lieutenant Mark Harmon. We have uh, the new Director of Security. This actually comes under the Department of Park Services, but it is the Director of Security. He was new to the Chicago Park District, although he, uh, my understanding, he is, uh, comes from the police department, and then the head of streets in San the City, and now the uh, head of park services for the Chicago Park District. And that's <coughs> Director Tom Byrne. <laughs> we have uh, a police officer who is in the field, in the parks, on foot, and she is in the neighborhoods and knows directly from experience um, some of the issues that you deal with, and that is Officer Hamilton. And from the community, uh, our couple, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Young, Chris and uh, Glenn Young, who are from the neighborhood side uh, very active in their beat. Uh, CAPS B program. Uh, Chris and Glenn Young. And to facilitate this, yeah, we have a, a wonderful uh, Sean Rush uh, who volunteered today to be the facilitator uh, to move this thing through quickly, get all the questions that you have presented, answered and to come up with sort of an action plan so that this summer we have really good coordination on security and good interaction and a good plan should something come up. And Sean's job is to move this through. I just have to, uh, a gentleman that has not been involved with Friends of the Parks, but he's a professional facilitator. Um, uh, this is his job. And he volunteered to give his day to day to be with us. So I think that's a really uh, Please 
contact Maria Stone. I put a note up there, and it's stonem at fltp.org. Her phone number is 312 857 2757, extension 17. She would be more than happy to take more specific questions and direct to the right people so that we can get that resolved. All right? So, we're going to start with problems. What are the problems that are facing us in the parks? So, who I want to introduce is Willa Welch. She is from the Tule Park Advisory Council. And she's going to give us a small presentation on pretty much generally what is going on and what we are facing. <laughs> know that we have the same issues and we're all in the same boat. So having said that, I want to address the panel on some of the issues that we feel we're having in our parks citywide. Um, we as park district advisory members, uh, we have general concerns and some concerns may be um, to one area of, or another, but these are general concerns that we have. Um, we have concerns about lighting in the park, criminal activity, graffiti, vandalism, and theft. Now, as far as park district security, what we would like to know is how park district uh, security manpower is set up and how it's dispersed. And then, do you have a schedule as to what officers go to what parks? Uh, are they so many times a day? And is there a mechanism for tracking? Meaning if an officer goes to a certain park, is there a signing procedure that we know that any particular park has been visited on any given day? Um, we have uh, a concern regarding park security after hours when the park districts are closed. After hours and on weekends, a lot of park districts on Sundays are closed. There's no one in the field house. And during the summertime, a lot of those parks, we have activities going on. There is no one there to monitor those activities. How is we as community members, park advisory members, can we, do we have access to park district security to call and say, hey, there's something going on and we need to get someone over here? Um... In certain areas you have parks and we would like to know is there a partnership that you have with some of the colleges. Um, Tully Park where I am, our area, we have a partnership with Chicago State. So we can call Chicago State office and they will come over if they have the manpower and address the issues and sometimes they get there before the Chicago Police Department gets there. Um, so we would like to know in those areas where you have colleges, universities, campus security, do you have um, a relationship with those um, entities to help with securing um, the parks? Um, we would also like to address, um, now that the city has changed how they uh, handle 911 and 311, how will the park district security step up to disperse manpower and help us with those calls? I think a lot of people here, from what I have heard today, we are trying to be proactive instead of reactive. You have a lot of people who live within a block of the parks. We know what's going on. We see what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. And before something happens, we want to have a vehicle to talk to park district staff and say, hey, this is going to be a problem. We see the gangbangers coming out, or we see dice games, or you know, we see gambling, or we see criminal activity. So we want that um, addressed as 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 well. Also, we feel that uh, security officers need to be more visible. And what I mean by that is stepping outside of their cars, engaging, letting the people, the park patrons in the park know that they 
they are there. It doesn't do much just to drive by in your little car and keep it open. Um, another uh, issue that came up today with um, security events and what I what a lot of people express here is when you have events and there is no secure no staffing at the parks. Um, we have learned that there is no recommendation or there is no requirement for the park districts to have a big event in a park and require porta potties. So then you have a situation where you have somebody who's at an event. There's 150 or more people. There's no porta potties and they're in the park for eight hours. That's a security issue. So if you know there's no staff there, I think in those areas um, security needs to be moved up and. Can you tell us, are you in communication with the staff to know when there are big events going on at certain parks, and how do you deal with that, and how do you, how do you disperse that manpower? These are just some of the issues that we have. We only have 90 minutes, so we can't get to them all, but those are some of the issues that we wanted the panel to address today. Thank you.